Welcome back to the tense of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio and hopefully this time under 12 minutes. So let's check it out if we can do this. So the last time what we did basically uh, we just let the camera follow us but with an object so this is just and then of course we smoothen it out so it doesn't look so jittery when you're moving so on the, on the left side when you have your room properties you can do this but eh, we're gonna do this with the with an object and therefore it lo it's looking better so this is from the last video and now we're coming to the today's basically we are switching the target and then we can do kind of this zooming in a specific position but as you can see it goes in a rectangle fashion so this is what we're going to clone today this is one up indie i am a developer and programmer and if you like what you're seeing consider subscribing sharing and liking so let's keep things quick and nice so let's go quickly into what we actually want to do very very fast because hey you, I actually want to jump into weapons because weapons are so much more fun than the camera stuff. So let's go into our clone. And therefore we will introduce another object, which is our target dummy. Let's go object, 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 target dummy. Give it a nice sprite, the ones which I used before. So the smiley. Later on we're going to use the one which you see in Hotline Miami because this is a nice... This is basically our mouse over animation, but hey, for now, this is more than good enough. And then of course we need to adapt it a little bit further. So the first thing which we want to do is basically just tell to our guy, hey, we are using our mouse. And if we are using our mouse, well, we want to change a few things. So first of all, we want, if I can find it, gone excellent it's gone uh <laughs> it's of course not good um so first of all the last um uh, the on the last video tutorial i uh skipped over one thing which is kind of crucial so for example let's say you are going around and then you're for example um deleting the instance because hey the player is dead and then you delete it so instance destroy or for example you destroy the target where we are going with our um, camera and then boom this thing will throw an error because it's trying to grab the x and y value of the thing which isn't there and then it's error and well game crashes not 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 good so therefore we always need to make that safe so we just say like hey instance exist so we're just checking hey is there actually an instance so here we say if instance exists then we roll out all this code below in our camera and if not well this whole stuff is getting uh, well not executed which is good which is good which is good ah here we go <laughs> and this stuff always stays relative because there's always a camera around so we can close this sweet and then the next thing we want in our object player to check our mouse so uh, in Hotline Miami, this is actually, I guess, tab. So above control the key on the keyboard. Well, we're gonna for now use the right mouse button. Of course, later on, we're gonna change it. But for now, this is good enough. So we say like, hey, if mouse, then check. Here we go. And then mouse button, right. And then we're gonna do some code and of course wrap this around of course you don't have to do this but i think this looks neater and more organized but of course this is up to you so the first thing which we want to do we want to create an instance so instance create create layer here we go the, the mouse x and mouse y position on the instances so basically this is default stuff you should be by now familiar with that kind of stuff but for now if we do it like this we are creating tons of those things because we keep on pressing our right mouse button and we are creating tons of targets and then um, this will look kind of jittery and, f and we are just spamming with new uh, targets which is not the best idea so therefore we're gonna say like hey we're just gonna create it once so if 
And once again, we can say instance exists. So here we go. If there's one instance of our object target dummy, we are not creating one. And of course we just say like, hey, if there is none, create one. Oh wow, that even rhymes. Alrighty, so yeah, so much for uh, this stuff. And then we can actually or almost uh, test it out. And for example, normally what I would be doing, I would just say like var and then uh, dummy targets and then set this to the newly created instance. But I want it to be all the time overwritten. So therefore I just use a regular variable, which I'm going to introduce then here in our create events, in our player and set it at the beginning to no one because this is uh, set to nothing and then we're just gonna override it all the time so for example um, this thing will get destroyed after some point so this is kind of important for us so this is good and therefore we just say like hey we can use this and say to our camera hey sweet we have a new target which is not the player we say like hey object camera target is now our dummy and this is good and fine but now for example this would mean that the camera is getting stuck on our target dummy so for example we could actually start it now and it's not the best solution to be honest uh, instance and spelling error so once again go on go on go on faster i want to be under 12 minutes this time and it does work but as you can see uh, now this is the target we can walk around but this is getting locked to this um, target dummy which is definitely not the best idea so what we're gonna do is now have kind of a reset button so for that we're gonna do a create and a step event and for that we just need one little variable call that timer set it to let's say five and say like hey run the timer down and say like hey if the timer has run down so basically it's equal or smaller than zero we're just gonna say instance destroy and then for example if we destroyed it this is good but now it's not changing <laughs> too much so therefore we're gonna say like hey our target is being reset and our object dummy once it's being destroyed back to our object player boom hopefully you can see it so basically timer rang down saying like hey are you smaller than zero reset the target for our camera and then well destroy yourself and this is how we could actually set it up correctly so what you see and of course after five steps it's getting reset and then for example you can do this jittery stuff and then <laughs> this thing can jump around so far so good of course it doesn't look too good for now but it does make sense in the context first of all we want to hinder that this thing is getting destroyed so once again you have a timer but when we are keeping pressed we want to say like hey the timer is five of course not a timer inside our player but inside the target dummy so here we go so let's check this actually out and now it won't be running out and for example now it will stay static in one place as you can see um hopefully you can well you don't see it but i'm pressing my right mouse button and then letting it go and then it resets to the player and then and this is how I can still jump, but for example, this is good enough. But of course, we want it to move. So therefore, we say like, mm, we want our dummy to move. So we just say like, hey, go to the mouse X position and the Y to the Y position. So here we go. Boom. Now, 11 minutes. Not going to make it in 12. <laughs> <laughs> no chance and now this is already cool but of course eh, it can go out which isn't 
too good. So therefore, we're just going to need to restrict it to some specific points. So we're still going to use the mouse X and mouse Y position. But here we're going to clamp it. Clamp. Here we go. The mouse X position between what? Well, first of all, our player X and Y position. And then we're going to go a little bit to the left and to the right horizontally and then upwards and downwards and this we could do radially but we want it to have it to be in a square and therefore for example what we can do is give it let's say x minus i don't know what kind of value you want to have you can go for hard values for example or you can go with the camera width and the height but let's go for hard values for now so let's go um, x minus and x plus 100 here we go so we are clamping this value between the, to the left the maximum and to the right maximum and of course we can do the same stuff for the y value and now we kind of have a rectangle around the thing where we want to spawn our dummy so let's check it out and now you will see uh, we cannot go too high and then we are kind of in this box locked so if you wanted to do this, well, <laughs> this is how we achieved it. Basically, this is all about this video tutorial. So once again, we can jump and it looks already neat. So therefore, this was it for this tutorial series. 12 minutes in, 12.30, way too long. Oh well, see you in the next video tutorial series. Bye bye.